top 50 things to do in West Palm Beach. If you're considering coming down to Palm Beach to check out the area, I wanted to give you this comprehensive guide on the top 50 things to do. But this is my top 50, let's get into it. All right, number one on our list of top 50 things to do in West Palm Beach, you got Worth Avenue. Number one, this is down on Palm Beach Island. Uh, Worth Avenue, this is a picturesque shopping destination. It's known for upscale boutiques. You got art galleries, you got gourmet restaurants, or you can go and just take a leisurely stroll along these beautiful palm lined streets. You can admire the gorgeous Mediterranean inspired architecture. You can browse luxury brands like Chanel, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. This is a great place to go for the day. You can also grab a cappuccino in the cigar shop. Go check out Worth Avenue. Number two, we got Palm Beach Zoo. This is down on the Summit Boulevard there in West Palm Beach. This is located near Dreher Park. Palm Beach Zoo is home to over 550 animals from around the world. You can explore exhibits such as the wildlife wetlands, the Tiger Falls, and the tropics of the Americas. Now don't miss the daily animal encounters. This has got educational programs suitable for all kinds of ages. The Palm Beach Zoo is a must. Number three, we got the Flagler Museum. This is down on one white wall way there in Palm Beach. You can literally step back in time at the white wall. You got the former home of the Gilded Age of industrialist Henry Flagler there. You can marvel at the beautiful opulent interiors. You got Tiffany glass windows, antique furnishings. You got elaborate ballrooms there as well. Or you can just stroll through the lush gardens overlooking the intercoastal waterway. Go and check out the Flagler Museum. Number four, we got the John D. MacArthur Beach State Park. We got a lot of parks on this list. This is located on Jack Nicholas Drive in North Palm Beach. This has got beautiful, pristine coastal preserves, which offer a wider range of outdoor activities. You got swimming, snorkeling, you got nature trails, or you can go and explore the mangrove forests, the dunes, you got a coastal hammocks. You can also spot native wildlife like ospreys and manatees and sea turtles. This place is a great place to go for the day. Number five, we got the Norton Museum of Art. This is down on Dixie Highway there in West Palm Beach. Now the Norton Museum boasts a huge and impressive collection of over 7,000 works of art. These span from ancient civilizations to contemporary pieces. Highlights also include European masterpieces of American art. You got Chinese ceramics and rotating special exhibitions, which are super, super interactive. You're gonna absolutely love it. All right, number six, we got the Loggerhead Museum Center. This is in Juneau Beach. This place is dedicated to the sea turtle conservation. We have lots of sea turtles here that come to South Florida. The Loggerhead Marine Life Center offers interactive exhibits. It's got educational programs. It's got rehabilitation facilities for all these injured sea turtles get wrapped up in nets and stuff that come onto our shores. Now you guys can go out there and you can observe these actual rescued sea turtles up close and personal and learn about the efforts to protect these beautiful endangered species. Go and check out the Loggerhead Park. It's a great place to spend a day, especially with the kiddos or for a date night as well. Now, number seven, we got Lion Country Safari. This is absolutely one of my favorites. Now, Lion Country Safari is out there in Loxahatchee. It's a little further west in Palm Beach County. You can go out there, you can experience a feeling of being on an African safari adventure without leaving Florida. Now, at the Lion Country Safari, you can drive through the parks. They got vast savannas. They can, you can encounter lions and giraffes and rhinos and other all kinds of exotic animals. They've got animal feeding stations. It is such a cool experience. All right, number eight, we got the Mounts Botanical Garden. This is off a of military trail in West Palm Beach. And you can literally wander through like 14 acres of lush botanical gardens. This features diverse collection of tropical and subtropical plants. You can explore these themed gardens such as the butterfly gardens, the palm gardens, and tropical fruit pavilion while enjoying serene water features. They got shady pathways there. That's a really, really neat place to go for the day. I love going down there. Number nine, 
we got the Rapids Water Park. Now, it gets kind of hot down here, and especially in the summertime, Rapids Water Park is a great place to go. This is located over there in Riviera Beach. This is literally South Florida's largest water park. Now you thrill seekers out there, you can enjoy these high speed rides and you families can also relax in the lazy river. You don't just have to be a thrill seeker, you can splash around in the wave pool, you can get some pizza, or you can bring a picnic, make sure you hide it to the side as well. All right, we got number 10, we got the Manatee Lagoon. This is on Flagler Drive there in West Palm Beach. This is located just adjacent to the Florida Power and Lights Riviera Beach Next Generation Clean Energy Center. Now the Marine Lagoon there offers visitors an up close and personal look at these beautiful gentle marine giants. Now they're in their natural habitat there and you can learn about the manatee biology, their behavior. You can go there and see what the conservation efforts are through these interactive exhibits and guided tours throughout. It's a really great spot and go and check out those beautiful manatees. It's something when you see one for the first time. Now real quick, some people don't even know that I am a realtor and I actually work with a trusted group of professionals that know this area in South Florida through and through. So if you're considering moving to the area and just want to know what the area is about, drop us a line. We'd love to talk to you about what's important to you in an area and potentially a home. Let's get back into the video. All right, number 11, we got Peanut Island. This is uh, Peanut Island Road there in Riviera Beach. Now, Peanut Island maybe isn't a place for the kiddos. It can get a little wild out there sometimes, but it's actually accessible by ferry or by private boat. Now, Peanut Island is, is a popular spot for outdoor recreation and relaxation. <laughs> Explore the island. You can get on these you know, lush trails. You can swim in this crystal clear turquoise water, or you can snorkel around the man-made reef there, and it's teeming with marine life. Literally, you got all those beautiful exotic fish with all the colors and all that. Now, you history enthusiasts can visit the Cold War area Kennedy Bunker. This is built for President John F. Kennedy during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Pretty cool place to go because you got history and all that exotic stuff. And yeah, people get a little wild out there, so you might want to leave the kiddos out of that. We got number 12. We got the West Palm Beach Green Market. Really great spot. This is down on Flagler Drive there in West Palm. Now this is held every Saturday in West Palm Beach. The Green Market offers this vibrant atmosphere. It's filled with local vendors selling fresh produce, baked goods, artists and crafts. It's a, it's a nice spot to go for the day. I love going down there. Number 13, we got South Florida Science Center and Aquarium. Now this is Dreher Park as well in West Palm Beach. You got interactive exhibits there as well. You got hands-on activities. You can explore topics ranging from astronomy and physics to marine biology and paleontology as well. Now, don't miss a chance to observe the marine life up close and personally in an aquarium and catch a show at the planetarium, see those galaxies spinning out there and our planets in this wonderful world that we live in. Highly suggest that you check that out. Number 14, we got Clematis Street. Now, Clematis Street's fun for the whole family during the day, gets a little wild at night. It's Clematis Street in West Palm Beach. Now this is right in the heart of downtown West Palm Beach. Clematis is alive. It's got dining, it's got shopping, it's got entertainment options. You got it all down there, but just at night, you might want to bring the kids, it gets a little wild. All right, we got number 15. We got the Palm Beach International Wasteway for you speedies out there. It's on Beeline Highway in Jupiter. Now, whether you're into drag racing or you got, they got road courses, they got karting, there's something for everybody out there. And this is a state-of-the-art racing facility. You make sure you check out the calendar and see what you might find out there. We got number 16. We got Peanut Island Park. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. This is on Peanut Island Road, road there in Riviera Beach. Now this is some place you can bring the kiddos. Peanut Island is a haven for nature lovers and, and you historian buffs alike. This provides a really nice opportunity for bird watching and wildlife spotting. And remember, you history buffs, it really comes alive there with that JFK bunker where you guys can go and learn about its role during the Cold War that is kid friendly uh, away from the sandbar where it gets a little shenaniganness. Uh, we got number 17, we got Palm Beach Segway Tours. If you wanna get on a Segway, this is down on Royal Ponciana Drive there in Palm Beach. You can literally like glide through the picturesque streets of Palm Beach. This is a guided Segway tour and it combines like sightseeing, it's got outdoor adventure. 
Now it's led by knowledgeable guides. These tours, they, they showcase the island's historic landmarks. You got celebrity homes, you got scenic waterfront vistas. This provides a really unique and memorable way to explore the area on a Segway. That's a really cool activity to do. Go check out the Segway tours. All right, we got number 18. We got the Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse. So this is out on Captain Armour's Way there in Jupiter. I did a video on this before and there's some great restaurants around there. You can literally climb to the top of this iconic Jupiter Inlet Lighthouse and there's panoramic views and look out over the Atlantic Ocean. You got that turquoise intercoastal water. It is beautiful. And you can explore the role of the lighthouse and what it meant for the navigation into Jupiter, Florida. Now don't miss a chance to stroll through this historic grounds and you can bring a picnic for the day, throw the Frisbee. You can bring a golf club out there and chip around as well. Definitely go and check out the Jupiter Lighthouse. Now, number 19, we got the Juno Beach Park. One of my favorites. You got the Juno Pier that goes out, the surfers are there, the kiteboarders are there. Now, it has a beautiful, pristine shoreline. This is that white sand that we're talking about. It's got a really tranquil atmosphere, even though the surfers are out there. The Juno Beach Park is just across the street, and that's a destination if you're on the beach, you can go and seek some sun maybe off the beach. You got the sand, you got the surf. You also have nature trails there as well, which wind through the adjacent dunes. And this provides a really cool opportunity for wildlife viewing and bird watching. Definitely go check out the Juno Park there and the pier, good spot. All right, number 20, we got the Gardens Mall. You wanna get your shop on? This is over in Palm Beach Gardens off of PGA Boulevard. And you can, you can shop in style at the Gardens Mall. This is an upscale shopping destination. It has over 150 stores. You got from high-end fashion and accessories, you got home decor, you got electronics. You're gonna find everything you possibly could want for a day of absolute indulgence. Definitely check out the Gardens Mall if you wanna get your high-end shopping on. All right, number 21, we got Jupiter Beach. I mentioned Jupiter Beach a little bit earlier. It's near Juno Beach. This is down, Jupiter is just a little north of Juno. Now this place is known for its natural beauty and it's got a laid back vibe. The Jupiter Beach is a haven, literal haven for you outdoor enthusiasts. You can bring your paddleboard down there, you can bring your snorkel and you beach lovers is like, you can just bring out a picnic as well. You can spend the day there, you can soak up the sun. Now it's also a popular spot for surfing and that stand up paddle boarding that I talked about. You could even bring your boogie board out there or a skim board as well. All right, moving on. We got number 22, we got Coral Cove Park. This is in Tequesta, which is actually kind of right next to Jupiter there. This is tucked along the Jupiter coastline there. It's a Coral Park. It offers a really kind of secluded escape. This is a little more low key for you beachgoers and you nature enthusiasts. It hasn't got kind of that hustle and bustle that these other beaches have. And the park's got kind of a rocky shoreline and the coral reefs there just provides a really nice, excellent snorkeling experience. So it's a little more subdued. You got your coral marine life there that I mentioned earlier down at Pedon Island. You got these underwater formations to explore. Really cool spot. You can pack a picnic and you can spend the day enjoying these beautiful pristine beaches and the scenic views that I keep talking about. All right. Moving on, number 23, Blowing Rocks Preserve. This is pretty close to Tequesta and Jupiter. This is on Beach Road in Hope Sound. Now, Blowing Rocks, you can experience this really awe-inspiring natural phenomenon. You got waves crashing against this ancient limestone formation there. You got water shooting up through bowl holes. This creates a really kind of like dramatic, like geyser effect. You can enjoy beautiful, breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean there. Blowing Rocks is a great place to go for the day. All right, number 24, we got Grassy Waters Preserve. This is off of North Lake in West Palm as well. Now go down there and discover like this beauty that these Florida wetlands have at Grassy Waters Preserve. You can explore like miles, of hiking trails, boardwalks, and canoe routes. You can literally immerse yourself in the tranquility of nature. This is like where you wanna go and just unwind. Now keep an eye out, cause you got all kinds of wildlife there, including like alligators, you got wading birds, you got otters, you got all kinds of critters there. That's a great place to go for the day for a little bit more of a subdued experience. All right, number 25, we got Palm Beach Outlets. I mentioned some shopping earlier. This is outlet shopping. So this is located on Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard in West Palm Beach. 
You know, you can have unbeatable deals down there. You got designer brands, you got name brand merchandise. You're gonna find something for everybody there. This is a premier shopping destination and you're gonna save a little cash there as well. Moving on, we got number 26. We got South Florida Fairgrounds. This place is amazing. This is down on Southern Boulevard in West Palm Beach, so it's a little further out on Southern Boulevard. Now, this is home to the annual South Florida Fair, and you got a variety of year-round events there, not just the South Florida Fair. And there's always something happening at this sprawling complex, so make sure you check out the calendar for upcoming attractions and these really, really family-friendly fun. This is not that wild stuff out there, although they do have concerts on occasion. All right, real quick, I wanted to say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you find this kind of content valuable, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button below. We come out with new content every week on things to do, places to go, communities to see. So make sure to go subscribe now. Moving on, we got number 27, we got downtown at the gardens. This is on Lake Victoria Gardens Ave, that's in Palm Beach as well. Now go out there and you can experience like this perfect blend of like shopping, dining and entertainment downtown at the gardens. Now, this is an outdoor lifestyle. A lot of this is outdoor lifestyle. You're getting the, the, getting the gist here. This is all outdoors. Now, you can also go there and catch out movie at the Cobb Theater. You can enjoy live music in the courtyard, or you can simply stroll along and people watch and see what's going on with all those unique people in this wonderful world we live in. All right, moving on, we got number 28. We got the mall at Wellington Green. This is a little more upscale. This is out there in Forest Hill Boulevard there, there in Wellington where all the equestrian people are. This is premier shopping. Like I mentioned, this, does, this is a destination in kind of the heart of Palm Beach County. You got department stores, you have fashion boutiques, you got specialty shops, you got beauty salons. So go check that out for the day. That's a good one as well. All right, number 29, we got Okahili Park, one of my favorites. This is out here on Forest Hill Boulevard. That's in West Palm Beach as well. This is over 900 acres. Okahili Park, now whether you're going like fishing or boating or picnicking, there is something for everybody. And this has a really expansive park with that 900 acres. You can enjoy, again, those scenic views. You got lakes, you can go and hike, you can bike. There's a golf course out there. You guys know I always have to mention my golf. They got pickleball and tennis, or you can challenge friends to a game of golf disc out there as well. They got a championship course. That's right, a championship golf disc course. So go check out Okahili Park. We got number 30, this is the Ritz Carlton Golf Club. I had to throw a golf club in there, you guys know it. Now this is out on Eagle Trace, this is in Jupiter. It's set in a really lush landscape area. It's got pristine lakes. Now the course is a really challenging and yet rewarding experience for golfers of all levels. Now after your round, you can relax and unwind at the clubhouse and indulge in the rejuvenating spa treatment, get some cucumber on your face and a salt rub. That's a good place to go for the day. All right, we got number 31, City Place. You wanna talk about a place you can go in the morning, the midday or the evening, City Place is it. This is off of Rosemary Ave, right in the heart of West Palm Beach. It's located literally right down there in West Palm Beach. City Place is a, a, had a really vibrant shopping. It's got dining and entertainment and street performers. Go check out City Place. Catalina loves it. They got like Christmas things, Easter things. City Place is a must. You can go there anytime. You can walk up to the Kravis Center as well from there. All right, moving on. We got number 32, we got Burt Reynolds Park. Yeah, that's Smokey and the Bandit, Burt Reynolds himself. Now this is in Jupiter. Burt Reynolds Park offers all kinds of recreational activities. You can launch a boat into the intercoastal, you can go fishing from the pier. Now the park also features picnic areas, so you don't just have to go there and buy stuff. They got playgrounds, they got walking trails. Moving on. We got number 33, this is Gulfstream Park. Now this is off of Federal Highway down there in Hallandale, a little farther south in Palm Beach County. Now whether you're feeling lucky or you're just looking for a night of entertainment, Gulfstream Park's got it for you. You can try your hand in the casino, they got gaming, they got slots, they got the table games. You can check out live horse racing, they got action. This is a world-class track at that village there as well. So go and check it out. All right, number 34, we got the Morikari Museum. This is a Japanese gardens. This is located on the Morikari Park Road there in Delray Beach. You can literally go down there and immerse yourself in this Japanese culture. 
You got the tranquility there at the Murakami Museum in Japanese gardens. You can explore six different gardens inspired by different historical periods and styles of these Japanese gardening. You can stroll along winding paths, these picturesque bridges, and you can discover waterfalls. They got koi ponds and bonsai collections. The museum also features rotating exhibits. You got cultural events, and you got traditional tea ceremonies there like the Karate Kid. I'm probably dating myself there. Moving on, number 35, we got the Palm Beach Skate Zone. This is located down there on Lake Worth Road. This is in Lake Worth. Now skate your heart out at the Palm Beach Skate Zone. This is South Florida's premier destination for roller skating and inline skating. Now, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, the indoor rink offers fun for like all ages. You got theme skating sessions, arcade games, you got snack bars, treats, check out the skate park. Moving on, we got number 36, Gumbo Limbo Nature Center. This is on Ocean Boulevard in Boca Raton. You can explore exhibits showcasing like South Florida's diverse ecosystems, including like coastal hammocks, mangrove swamps, and seabeds. You can walk the elevated boardwalks, visit the butterfly garden, and observe native wildlife such as sea turtles, stingrays, and birds of prey. Moving on, we got number 37, we got Dyer Park. This is down on Haverhill Road there in West Palm Beach. Now here's where you wanna to go to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. You got sprawling nature area. It offers a variety of outdoor activities. You can hike, you can bike, they got scenic trails that wind through these pine forests, wetlands, big open fields. Uh, you can bring your furry friend. It is dog friendly. You can go off leash play. It's cool. You can enjoy a picnic by the lake or you can try your hand at disc golf like the Okahili Park I mentioned earlier. All right, number 38, we got the McCarthy Wildlife Sanctuary. This is in West Palm Beach off of 61st Street. Now this place is a nonprofit wildlife rehabilitation center. This is an education center. You can join guided tours led by knowledgeable staff members to learn about these native and exotic species, including big cats, primates, birds of prey, and reptiles. I think it's a wonderful place to go and support our, our native species. Okay, we got going on here. We got number 39, we got the Palm Beach Par 3. Palm Beach Par 3, you can enjoy a round of golf with breathtaking ocean views. Now this is located on the barrier island of Palm Beach. Now this scenic course offers an 18 challenging holes and is set against the backdrop of the Atlantic Ocean. This provides a really unique golfing experience for players of all levels. You can bring the kids there, older people can go, and then after the round, you can relax at the clubhouse. You can soak in the panoramic vistas from the terrace Go uh, talk to Tony, he's the head pro, he's a good friend of mine. Moving on, number 40, we got the Okahili Nature Center. This is off of Forest Hill Boulevard there in West Palm Beach. They got guided nature walks for people of all ages. You can explore the indoor and the outdoor displays here, highlighting Florida's super diverse ecosystems. We, and you got these wildlife encounters to learn about the regions like local flora and fauna. That's an absolute must. We got 41, we got Sailfish Marina Resort. This is off of Lake Drive in West Palm Beach. Now this is located on Singer Island. Sailfish Marina Resort, this is a really picturesque waterfront spot. It's got a setting with like panoramic views of Peanut Island where all the craziness is going on. You got the Palm Beach Inlet right there. You can see the mega yachts coming in. That's a must there of Sailfish, go and check it out. Number 42, Gardens Art. Now, there's various locations throughout Palm Beach Gardens. Now, you can discover all kinds of public art installations and sculptures scattered throughout Palm Beach Gardens as part of the Gardens Art Program. So Google that and it'll show you the different spots from whimsical sculptures to thought-provoking installations. Now, Gardens Art showcases the creativity and this cultural vibrancy of our community. Really go and check it out. Google it, you'll find where those spots are. Number 43, the Palm Beach Kettle Club. Gonna go and watch the dogs run. This is down on Congress Ave there in West Palm Beach. Now you can experience the thrill of watching these dogs run. These greyhounds racing and the poker gaming that's there at the Palm Beach Kennel Club. You can cheer on your favorite dog as they race around the track, or you can test your skills in there at the poker tables and in the card room as well. This is not kid friendly probably, other than the track, don't bring them into the casino. You can enjoy casual dining options, there's special events throughout the year. This is a fun-filled destination for gaming enthusiasts and you can bring the, the kids to the track to walk to dogs run. 
Moving on, we got number 44, we got Lantana Nature Preserve. This is down on Lantana Road in Lake Worth. Now this is nestled kind of like right in on the intercoastal waterway in Lantana. Now the Nature Preserve is really kind of a hidden gem. This is off of the beaten path and really, really subdued. This is for you nature enthusiasts. This is not for any partiers out there. This is a place to seek kind of like that tranquility you're looking for and that natural beauty, get your zen on. You can explore the walking trails that, you know, they go through mangrove forests and tidal marshes and coastal hammocks and all that. It, it provides a really unique opportunity for like bird watching and wildlife photography. You can enjoy these scenic views of the waterway and you can observe native plants and animals in their natural habitats. That's a cool spot to go and get your zen on. Number 45, we got Lion Country Safari KOA. Not to be confused with the Lion Country Safari, it's right next door to it. And you can camp under the stars, you can bring an RV there, they got tent sites. You're literally surrounded by these lush landscapes and serene lakes. You can enjoy the amenities, they got swimming pools, they got playgrounds, they got recreation activities. And you got uh, easy access to the safari park with like a wild day of animal encounters. You can go out there and check out the safari adventures. So highly suggest the KOA. You can go and pitch a tent and then go over to Lion Country Safari for the day. Number 46, the Palm Beach Marathon. You can lace up your, sh your shoes and join the thousands of participants. These come, people come from around the world to the Palm Beach Marathon. Now this is an annual race event showcasing scenic routes. Now whether you're like a seasoned runner or a first time participant, it or maybe you just want to walk it. The marathon offers a really memorable experience for all levels of ages and fitness levels. So check out the Palm Beach Marathon. Moving on, we got number 47, the Palm Beach Maritime Museum. So you can explore exhibits highlighting the region's seafaring heritage, including like shipwrecks and lighthouses and naval artifacts. And you can learn about the impact that maritime exploration has had on the commerce here in Florida's development. Really offer you to check that out. We got number 48. We got Panther Ridge Conservation Center. Now this is located at the Palm Beach Point Boulevard out there in Western Palm Beach County in Wellington. Now you can embark on these guided tours at Panther Ridge Conservation Center. Now this is a nonprofit sanctuary. This is dedicated to the rescue and rehabilitation and conservation of exotic big cats. You can explore the center's mission to protect endangered species and raise awareness about the importance of wildlife conservation, which is a big deal to me. Number 49, we got art in public places. Now this can be found all over various locations throughout Palm Beach County. Now this is an experience, a cultural journey through Palm Beach County's like vibrant art scene and this art in these public places is a program. It showcases outdoor art installations and sculptures in public spaces. Really, uh, I love our art here and uh, we support them greatly. All right, lastly but not least, we, we got number 50. We got Jupiter Inlet Colony Beach. This is a little exclusive. You can actually give me a call. I know by somebody that's a member here. This is located at the southern tip of Jupiter Island. Now, Jupiter Inlet Colony Beach is a secluded retreat. This is known for its picturesque shoreline. You've got breathtaking views. It's only accessible to residents and their guests. So this private beach offers tranquility and seclusion away from the crowds. Enjoy swimming, sunbathing, and beachcombing along the beach shores. Take a leisurely stroll, admire the beach. Give me a call. I do know a resident. So if you like this content, and you'd like to know more about the local South Florida area or any area in Florida, please reach out, text us, call us. We'd love to have a conversation with you about maybe some places that you'd like to go and explore. Or if you're looking to buy or sell, we'd love to talk to you about that. Now, if you're interested in Jupiter, I actually did a video on Jupiter's best restaurants. Go check it out here. We'll see you there.